where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Today is Memorial Day, and Memorial Day always reminds me of my Uncle Harold. My dad and I would always visit his house for Memorial Day, which meant visiting all the older relatives, putting flowers on my dad and Uncle Harold's parents' grave, and lots of sneezing for me. I was highly allergic to everything on that farm, I think. Cats, hay, and possibly even the plants in his greenhouse. He didn't have the greenhouse when I was young, but I definitely respected it when I was older. As a young homeschool mom, I naively thought that I could have my children poke some seeds in the ground, water them, and watch them grow. Now this works for some plants, but not for tomatoes. After I read up on it, we tried making our own inside greenhouse, just for tomato plants. After all, tomatoes are some of those foods that just taste so much better homegrown than store-bought. But we just couldn't get those little seeds to do anything past a straggly-looking three-inch sprout. So I totally understand why people bought already well-established tomato plants from Uncle Harold, even if they did make me sneeze. Those little plants needed special, tender, loving care that only a greenhouse and an expert like my uncle could provide, especially in Kentucky, where spring could have some pretty erratic weather. In order to be fruitful, plants and people grow best in greenhouses, with loving people to take care of them. Ideally, children grow best spiritually and emotionally in godly homes with a mother and father who love the Lord and carefully teach them his ways, bringing them to church that teaches the Bible. If you didn't have those important components in your early life, you can attest to the difficulties and hurdles that you had to overcome because of it. God tells parents in Deuteronomy 6, 4-9, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. Bringing your child up in a spiritual greenhouse takes diligence, discipline, consistency, and intentionality. But this greenhouse rearing isn't just for small children. Think about a new Christian. If someone walks the aisle and gets baptized, but no one takes them under their wing and teaches them, cares for them, and gets them involved, those little plants aren't going to be around for long, are they? They need the greenhouse of a loving church family, mentors, friends to help them grow, walk along beside them, encourage them, disciple them. A friend of mine recently befriended a woman who was new to our church. After a few lunches and heart-to-heart talks, this woman gave her heart to the Lord, changed some major things in her life, and has signed up for a discipleship group. Because of my friend, this woman knows that she is loved and cared for, and she's growing into a beautiful plant that's already bearing fruit. As I've been talking about this, likely God has put someone on your heart who needs intentional discipleship, who needs encouragement from you. So why don't you turn this off and call or text that person right now? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.